Hey guys, this is Travis again. Uh, we're down here at Coffee Engineering. Uh, we're getting ready to meet up with a couple of people from ARC Regional Services. ARC is a, is a local residential assistance program uh, for people with disabilities of all kinds. And we're working with them today because we're gonna have them involved with this project, uh, watering plants and checking for dead leaves and just like cleaning up, just general maintenance. Uh, the big idea here is that we just want to get them involved in what we're doing. Planting seeds and growing and being a farmer is an empowering thing. Uh, I felt it a long time ago when I grew, grew my first plant and being able to create something um, of value and worth it really helped me to feel like a value and worth and uh, so we want to spread that. Uh, these some people that, that live in ARC Regional Services, any kind of assisted living program, uh, they tend to not feel like they're able to reach out and help their families or reach out and help the community and uh, not always able to work either. So we're happy to put them to work right here, give them something to do and make them feel of value. We want them to be felt a part of something. We want them to feel like they're a part of something. Who we'll meet today, uh, Kiera, is one of the leaders over there at ARC Regional Services. Uh, she just so happens to be my sister also. And so we spent a lot of time together and we were just hanging out and we've always thought about how we can bring these two things together because I've always known that it's an empowering thing. And uh, so we just had the idea one day that, you know, we should, we should definitely get these people involved. And uh, so I just, I asked her about it and she asked her boss and everybody's really excited about it and it just happened so fast. Uh, so today we're gonna go over the general procedures of checking the walls. Uh, we're so excited to have this guy. He's gonna be checking the walls every day and he's gonna be making sure that they're clean of dead debris and that there's water in the tank and um, just making sure that everything's living and, and doing well. Uh, it seems like they're pretty simple jobs, but they're of the most importance to us that someone checks on it all the time and just keeps an eye on it just to make sure that nothing goes too wrong. Um, so what we're gonna do is run him through each site and where to collect water and how to do it. I've also printed up this little diagram here, which is of this wall and every wall that we'll go to today. And it shows the walls that we have. We've also just got real simple diagrams of uh, pulling dead leaf away and making sure that water's trickling. And uh, this shows the water levels that are important to know in the tanks. If he goes into the orange or red, then he's got something to fill up. Right now we're over here at coffee. We're just waiting on these guys to show up. They should be here anytime soon. Uh, then we'll get rolling. How we doing? What's your name, bud? Aaron. Aaron? Nice to meet you. I'm Travis. I'm lead staff at the ARC. The ARC helps people with intellectual disabilities um, in the residential setting live their life how they want to live it. My brother is Travis Hines, so he's the one that was the project coordinator and set up all the farm walls. He came to me one night and was like, it would be really cool if we got your clients involved in these farm walls, and I agreed 100%. We've been thinking for a while of like, how farming helps people with disabilities, Travis and I have, and so we kind of just put it to the test. So it gets the people with disabilities out into the community, and so they get to experience the community and people around in the community, and then they get to see something from the start to the beginning and realize that they helped put that together and they helped make that what it is. been helping have been so excited especially when the tomatoes started to get red they realized that they produced that food and then they could definitely eat it right after and that made them so happy 
Things have gone great. Uh, it started with just one resident being involved, and when he got so excited and started telling everyone about it, he wanted to show more residents. So then more residents started to get involved, and I think we've had three or four down here to check out the farm walls. Not only is the ARC and the clients and the residents so involved in it, it gets them talking to other people in the community, and other people have been involved. Uh, some residents and I were at a baseball game, and we heard some people talking about it, and it involved them with the conversation, and so it helps them meet new people. Um, so Travis did awesome setting it all up, and plus I think it looks really nice in the community. Uh, awesome, awesome day. I was really happy to go around with this guy, Aaron, and show him around. Uh, I think that he's really excited about it. Uh, my sister, Kiara, she's been telling me that he uh, just kind of feels like he, he needs to be a part of something and to do something, and that over there at ARC, they just haven't been able to find that right niche for him. Uh, she's been telling me that he's really interested in farming and he's always asking about it. So she was, that's why he was her first pick. And, uh, this guy's a worker. This guy's a worker and I'm really happy about it. Uh, every time he was, he just grabbed the bucket, wanted to know how to fill it, where to go, what to do. And he's really eager and, uh, and we're, that's all we can ask for. With his excitement and his interest in this and his care to work, I think that he's gonna be very eager to get up and come out and do this every day. And uh, I think that I'm grateful to have his help, hopefully as much as he's excited to be doing this. I'll be excited to check in with him next week and uh, see how he's doing. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. We're stoked about you coming out.